uh, in our previous lesson you have seen the various steps required in order to solve a logarithm of numbers less than one so today's lesson uh, we are going to evaluate a logarithm of uh, the square root of 0 0.0348 multiplied by 0 0.0538 all divided by 2.067 so it is going to be a little bit uh, complicated because today um, it is a combination of uh, numbers less than one and a number greater than one so let's begin uh, the solution to this particular problem going to be something like this then number logarithm okay let's begin with the numerator 0 0.0348 multiplied by 0 0.538 so let's write the numbers one after the other the first one is 0 0.0348 while the second one is 0 0.538 then logarithm comprises of two things the characteristics and the mantissa the characteristics is always obtained by changing the number to the standard form then you write the index of 10 after changing the number to standard form so the standard form of this number is going to be you have to bring this decimal point to the first significant number which is 3.48 so if you count the number of times you migrate the decimal point is 1 2 then you write the characteristics which is the index of 10 negative 2 because you move the decimal point 1 2 then you write point then the mantis is always obtained in the log table and this is how the log table looks like this is how it looks like uh, it is bodily written here logarithm of numbers then this column here is the first two significant numbers then you have other numbers starting from 0 to 9 is the third uh, significant number if available then the last one here column of differences is also a uh, default significant number so in this case that we have only three numbers one two three so you group the first two 34 you locate them here so we are going to look for 34 um 34 is here then difference of eight this is eight five four one six then you write it here five four one six we are done with the first number then the second one this is where the decimal point is you migrated to the first significant number which is five one one only one so we have the index of 10 to be this negative one point again you trace the number on that log table 53 under it um this is 53 and the under eight we have uh, 3708 uh, 7 7 3 0 8 but if you look at here they say multiply this by this so under law of indices law of logarithm it says if you have log x multiplied by y is the same thing as log x plus log of y so instead of uh, multiplying them we are going to add their logs so 0 0.0348 um, multiplied by 0 0.538 these two numbers we are going to add their logs together this plus this is 14 you write 4 you take 1 to the next level 1 plus 0 plus 1 is going to give us 2 this plus this 4 plus 3 is 7 5 plus 7 is um, 12 you write 2 you take 1 to the next level negative 2 negative 1 is negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2 which is bar 2 then you write your point we are done with this numerators 
then we move to our denominator which is 2.067 but uh, this number is already in standard form because the decimal point is after the first significant number so the characteristics remain zero you write your point then you locate 20 first two numbers difference of the third number uh, under the third number then difference of the fourth number the first two numbers is 20 so under our logarithm here we have 20 which is this under 6 under 6 we have 3 1 3 9 3 1 3 9 but here we have difference of uh, difference of 7 so we locate 7 under differences uh, which is 15 3 1 3 9 if you add it to 15 you are going to have um, 3 1 5 4 again we are going to divide the whole of these numbers by this number therefore log of this minus log of this because from laws of logarithm it says if you have log x divided by y is the same thing as log x minus log y so the log of this numbers minus the whole uh, log of uh, this number and the log of the whole of these numbers is this and the log of this number is given as this then we subtract them together uh, but remember you have to put your division sign here to this divide by this so this minus this uh, is going to give us zero this minus this it can't you bring one here it becomes 12 minus 5 uh, is 7 remain 6 here 6 minus 1 is 5 then 2 minus 3 you have to borrow again but this number is negative uh, 2 if you remove 1 out of it it's going to give us negative 3 negative 3 you bring 1 here it makes it becomes 12 then 12 minus 3 is 9 already here negative 3 left minus 0 is negative 3 bar 3 so this is the log of the whole of these numbers but we have a square root square root can be converted to um, index form which is half less to the power of 1 over 2 so the whole of these numbers 0 0.0348 times 0 0.538 divided by 2.067 raised to the power of 1 over 2 because a square root can be transformed to an index form of uh, 1 over 2 but from law of indices it says if you have log x power n is the same thing as n multiplied by log of x so here instead of this we divide this number by 2 so this is bar 3 because the whole of this the logarithm of the whole of this is bar 3.9570 so you divide the number by 2 instead because it is half if you bring this number down it's going to divide everything so you divide by 2 but because this number is 3 and this is the only negative number while this one remains positive you cannot divide them through so we split them so we have by 3 plus 0 0.9570 all of them divide by 2 still you have to make this battery in a such way it will be divisible by 2 so by introducing negative 1 here it becomes negative 4 negative 4 then you introduce 1 here it becomes 1 point nine five seven zero the whole of them divide by two remember minus one plus one is zero and that's what we just added here it's just like we have added zero here because we added negative one here and added positive one here positive one plus negative one is zero two uh, bar four divided by two will give us uh bar two then plus 
1 divided by 2 is 0. You add decimal point, you transfer this one here, it becomes 19. 19 divided by 2 um, is 9. Remainder 1. You bring 1 here, it becomes 15 divided by 2. It's going to give us 7. Remainder 1. You bring the 1 here, 17 divided by 2 is 8. Remainder 1. You bring 1 here, 10 divided by 2 is 5. Then you add this number and this one by 2.9785. So this by 2.9785 is the logarithm of the whole of these numbers.